I'm Joe Strecce. I'm the director of the Bureau of Blindness and Visual Services for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania's Office of Vocational Rehabilitation. Uh, so I direct the services around individuals who are blind or visually impaired. So one of the goals of the program is to Im positively impact Penn State to become a more um, accessible place uh, for students who may arrive on our, on our door as an undergraduate or graduate student in the future. The theme of this program is energy and sustainability. And we chose that theme because it's more than just science. Um, it's a big global concern that we thought we would be able to engage the students with. So on the first day we did the chemistry of fuels. And the first experiment that we were working on was measuring the heat produced by a combustion reaction. And so what they were doing then was measuring the heat that they produced and comparing it to other sources of fuel by doing research. And so they were actually able to compare it to things like gasoline, diesel fuel, coal, ethanol, um, and a whole bunch of other common fuels that we use to power our society. So we had a, a demo where they were comparing the heat produced by an incandescent bulb, a compact fluorescent light bulb, and an LED light bulb, um, all of which gave out the same amount of light, but they are not the same efficiency, which means that some of them will produce more heat than others, and that heat is actually just wasted energy. And so by comparing the heat released by the different bulbs, they can actually determine which bulb is the most efficient. They built their own circuits. They learned about how to wire things in series and in parallel, and parallel is how we wire things in our homes. Um, and we wanted to just teach them a lot about electricity from a very basic physics standpoint. And so they built their own circuits with lights and buzzers and motors and things like that so they could test out all of the different ways that they could wire things up. For this program, we also had a variety of scientists who are blind or visually impaired come to speak to the, the students about their career paths and how they got to be successful and be where they are and give them some advice on how to go about becoming a successful scientist or becoming successful in their career. Um, and Mr. Silverman is a very, very successful man. He works in the education branch of NASA recruiting interns for their NASA internship program. Um, and he's a fully blind individual who has a degree in aeronautics. Um, he also has his law degree and is a registered patent lawyer. And so he was a great inspirational figure to have for the students. And he was also very, very engaging and very funny and the students really enjoyed their, their time with him. And so I think he'll be a great mentor for any of the students who decide to follow up and reach out to him after the program's over. In the theme of sustainability, fuels aren't necessarily a sustainable resource. They're not environmentally friendly, um, they're not renewable, so at some point our supply is going to run out. And so one of the big research areas in the sciences and engineering right now is focused on renewable energy sources, things like wind energy, solar energy. And so we had the students build their own windmills to lift a weight and we actually had a nice little competition to see which group could make their windmill the most effective at lifting the weight. So what I hope the students get out of it is to be more confident in their own ability to pursue a STEM career, uh, to see themselves as valued in that option, and also to advocate for themselves 
and help educate their teachers and their family members in their own abilities to, to pursue those so that they can uh, solicit their support. In the end, this program is not just an introduction to science, uh, it, it introduces them to techniques, skills, technology that gives them access to the science curriculum that they haven't had before. These are experiences that they aren't having in the regular classroom and uh, they can bring these skills and techniques back to their general classroom.